Hi. A couple of years ago, I say a couple of years ago, when I was like a teenager, I used to have like a hyper fixation on card tricks. However, I, al I always use like the really cheap cards that you get from like boots and stuff. However, the other day I saw bicycle playing cards in WH Smiths. And bicycle cards, like if you compare them to the playing cards that I'm, I was learning with, like the shape is just nicer in the hand. <laughs> and it's such a nice box and I've just ripped it. Well, that feels different as well. Oh. I want to try and get back into it, but as you can tell, I'm a little bit out of practice with it. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about today at all. What I'm talking about today is for about six months to a year, maybe, I've been saving up for a proper PC because I've been running off my old laptop for the past eight years, nine years, maybe. And it's a great laptop. It's a really good starter computer for video editing. However, it's getting old, it's slowing down, my storage is getting full. I just needed an upgrade of my computer. So I've been saving up for a year to get a proper PC that can do two things, video edit and gaming, because I love video gaming as well and I want to get more into gaming on a PC rather than console. So I need it for those two reasons. And finally, it's arriving. I used a company called PC Specialist, a UK and Netherlands, I think, based company to choose all the specs. I didn't want to build it myself for two reasons. One, I don't trust myself. And secondly, because when I was researching it for the budget that I was looking at, which is £1,000, they were saying that £1,000, you might as well just go pre-built with the same quality. There's no point getting a build-it-yourself one. And then using PC Specialist seems like to be like a good middle point. And then over the next coming years, I can just add to it and swap out different parts for better parts as I get more money. And it's finally arrived. So this has been like a year, like I've wanted to do it for years. I wanted to do it for years because my computer has been slowly dying over the past couple of years. However, I just haven't had the chance to do it yet. I haven't had the funds to do it. Um, and I've had other stuff that I've needed to save up for, like my camera that I'm using right now. Um, and other little bits and pieces as well. But finally, I had the opportunity to save up for it and I have been saving up for it and it's arriving today and I'm so excited. So what I need to do today is I need to get my desk ready for the PC to come because I'm no longer be running off my laptop. I can move that, I can shift stuff around, I can play around with it and have a bit more of a good desk set up. What we're gonna be doing today, very, very exciting. Let's get into it, let's go. All right, so this is the desk set that I've been working on for the past 10, maybe, years. It's an Ikea desk, it's a corner desk. I specifically got it so I could have this little bit and here, so I could sit here and do a little bit of writing here and do a little bit of typing here and have that too there. Granted, I'm not, of course. When I first got the desk, it was the other way around because it was, in an, it was in an opposite corner. So this lower part of my desk was on the other side coming out here. So when we moved to this house, I needed to swap it over. However, it, there's not, it's not exactly drilled in. This top bit just lifts up completely. Blessing in disguise. Initially, it was a bit of a pain. And when sitting at the desk, this support structure digs into my legs, but for now it's fine. But the good thing about it is that it allows me to shimmy it sideways or shimmy it sideways if I need to. And I feel like for this, I'm gonna need to, because what I'm wanting to do, I'm wanting to slot the computer in this side bit here. If I turn this light back on, you can see how the desk slopes down. I'm wanting to fit it in there. It's a bit of a mess down there at the moment, which is full of cables and an old lamp that I should probably get rid of. But right there is where I'm thinking about putting it. So this top section of the desk should be shifted over a little bit to make room for that. There's a couple of things that I need to get rid of. I'm wanting to get rid of this monitor. I'm wanting to have a two dual monitor set up with this new computer. However, that monitor, the monitor that never turns on in any of my videos, it never turns on for a reason because the first week that we moved in, I accidentally whacked something against the monitor and it just broke. And I've been too embarrassed to bin it. But today's the day, I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna order a new monitor. I do not like working on a single monitor. I cannot do it. It's the, like everyone talks about it and it's the truth. Once you go to two monitors, you can never go back to one monitor. I'm wanting to slowly build up my monitor set. I'm wanting to go to two and then from two, I'm wanting three. I'm wanting four monitors by the end of it. But that's in the future, that's 
far, far, far away in the future. For now, I'm gonna get rid of that monitor. I'm gonna get rid of my desk lamp because I never use it. And then it's then from there, it's just a matter of shimmying everything around, taking off my laptop and laptop stand and waiting for the computer to arrive, waiting for my new PC to arrive. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really, I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, I've also got my old PC that I was using before I got my a thing back from my dad hoping that I could some like scout um, salvage it in some way shape or form because there's a couple of files and folders on there that I would quite like to keep not anything detrimental if I don't manage to get a hold of but stuff that I would like to get a hold of saves from games and stuff like that so nothing too important but just stuff that I would like to have so I need to find a place to put that as well so yeah, I'm gonna put this into a time lapse. I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna move my laptop last. I think I'm gonna leave my laptop where it is until I've got my PC fully set up. And by that, I don't just mean plugged in and turned on. I I mean plugged in, turned on, attached to the things, and all the files transferred over. I run off Adobe. When the PC comes, I won't have Adobe on that computer, and I'll need to figure out how to get Adobe from my laptop to my computer. So I'm gonna need to figure that out. And until that point, I think I'm gonna leave my laptop on my desk so I can still use those things until I've got it set up. And once I've done that, I can put my laptop in storage. I'm still gonna be needing it for when I go abroad or when I go on a trip and I still wanna do some work, or if I need to work remotely where I can't bring a tower. <laughs> So I'm still going to be using it, but I need to put it in storage or somewhere where it's easy for me to hold. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I'm, I'm rambling and I need to stop rambling. I need to make these videos a little bit quicker paced, I think. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to put you in time lapse. I'm going to put you right there facing this way. So, And I'm just going to get to it. I'm just going to start moving stuff. So, yeah. See you guys later. Bye. Alright, um, so as you can see, I've cleared my desk of all stuff. Um, I've, let, I've put my old put my old PC there as a placeholder, because that's where I'm wanting to put my new PC. I feel like it might be a bit too narrow for my new PC, because I feel like my PC is going to be a bit chunkier. And what I might end up doing is I might end up putting the tower here, as close to this upside bit. Let me see if I can get a better angle to show you. Like this raised section, I might put it here but that's for next week's video all i need to do now is i need to find a way of putting all of my old lego back on here in a nice way because i like i've got a couple of lego figures i want to put them up on here to display to display my nerdiness i need to find a place for them but once i've done that that'll be the end of the video and all i need to do now is wait for the guy to arrive with my computer anyway um so yeah i will cut to a bit of a cinematic i'll see you guys next week bye So I've come into a bit of an issue. Um, so basically, the, the the computer was originally supposed to arrive yesterday. However, I was at work from eight till eight, meaning I missed it, which is why it was supposed to arrive today. However, I've just checked the timings for when it's supposed to arrive today, and it's supposed to arrive after I leave for work. Like, so I needed to delay it again for her tomorrow so it's gonna to arrive tomorrow and I can't decide on the time that it arrives I just decide the day that it arrives so I might be at work again tomorrow as well but what I've done is I've called my mum and I've asked her if it's all right for her to stay over in case I'm at work when it arrives and hopefully it won't so I can give her a text and be like false alarm you don't have to come over but yeah so Hello. Hello there, yes. There you go. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. See you later. Oh, it's heavy. Oh.
Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, I need to get this upstairs. I need to get this upstairs. I need to get you upstairs. I need to get this upstairs. Ah! <laughs>